What is up you guys? Fight Fiend Mix here coming at you with a new video. Uh, as always, thanks for taking the time to stop by and check it out. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a hot topic in the MMA community. Um, this is a topic that uh, kind of comes up every now and then, surfaces and then submerges, but in general it is always there, and that is eye pokes. Uh, now, uh, one of the reasons I decided to make a video on eye pokes is because of the recent completion of the trilogy between Stipe Miocic and Daniel Cormier, where eye pokes was ever, ever so present and prevalent. Um, in their third fight, uh, an eye poke occurred in the, uh, I want to say it was the third round. It was actually Stipe doing the poking, because uh, in the previous two fights, it was actually Daniel Cormier doing the eye poking. Um, and um, it, it may or may not have altered that third fight, because it did happen in the third round. And, uh, and you know, there's two more rounds after that. And Maybe, uh, you know, Daniel Cormier was affected by it. Well, I want to say maybe. Of course, he was affected by it, right? Because at the end of the fight, he, uh, during the uh, post-fight um, interviews, he was saying that not only could he not see blurry, or not only was it blurry, but it was black specifically. He said he wasn't able to see out of that left eye, like, at all. So it did affect him to some extent, right? Um, and it, did that change the course of the fight? Maybe. Um, if you guys take a look at the scorecards for this fight here, uh, the fourth round was actually scored for Daniel Cormier on two of the judges' scorecards. So, um, you know, whatever it is that affected, you know, however his eye was affected and um, hindered his, uh, his, his, I guess, ability to fight, um, somehow he did something right because in those uh, in that fourth round, two of those judges had it for Daniel Cormier. Um, so, um, you know, I, I don't want to dive too deep into the scorecards of that, that particular fight because we can all... You know, we can all generally agree that Stipe Miocic won the fight. Uh, the reason I'm making the video specifically is the eye pokes because one of the one of the most common things I don't I don't want to say I can use the word excuses, but one of the most common things I hear when it comes to eye pokes is the gloves. It's the specific design of the current UFC glove. Um, there has been this um, debate about um, the um, the Pride Fighting Championship gloves being a lot better because of how much more sharp or sharper the curve is on the knuckles um that isn't the case with the ufc gloves um that has been an ongoing thing um the the gloves that um the closest competitor that the ufc has bellator uh the gloves that they use is by the brand everlast and their gloves have a, have a real real sharp curve to them and um quite honestly i don't see a lot of eye pokes in in bellator uh, i don't know if it's because of the gloves solely because of the gloves um of course bellator isn't anywhere near the level of, of ufc as far as how many fights or how many events they put on um and then of course i don't watch every bellator event so maybe it's just the fact that i just don't watch it enough there aren't enough fights there aren't enough events um it just seems like there are fewer eye pokes in bellator or maybe it is the gloves themselves so it could be a toss-up of any of those two things but um i don't remember there being a lot of eye pokes in uh in pride either uh, pride and bellator who I feel use a better version of the current MMA glove, have fewer eye pokes. Um, that I guess that's that's up for debate, but it, it feels that way at least. So um, to some extent, I agree with that notion that the gloves have a, a big or play a big role in these, uh, these eye pokes. Uh, however, uh, oh, by the way, I have heard even uh, Joe Rogan mention that too, talking about that's just the nature of the sport. It's the gloves. It's just how they do, they're designed. Um, they have to have exposed fingers for the sake of grappling, of course, which again, I agree. But I feel like they are, they're putting too much blame on the gloves. And I feel that a large portion of the blame should be put on the fighters themselves. Um, when I see these fighters uh, in, uh, in, in the fight, uh, John Jones and even recently Stipe Miocic, uh, or I'm sorry, not Stipe, um, well, I guess Stipe as well in the third fight, but Daniel Cormier in the two fights before in, the, in uh, his first fight with Stipe and his rematch with Stipe, um, specifically in the rematch, he basically came at Stipe like this. Like that's pretty much how he, he was trying to grab onto the hands and then try to do the, you know, the combination, but he was literally doing this. Like it wasn't even defensive. I mean, there was a few times where Stipe would attack and Daniel would kind of keep his arms out and stick his arms out and, and his fingers open. And I guess we can kind of sort of call that defense, uh, you know, but when he was moving forward, and trying to grab Stipe's hands and the gloves, um, it looked like it was pretty obvious. He was just sticking his fucking fingers out there, and that was that's that's habit. That's fighters' habit. Like I don't give a fuck what anybody says. That's a fighter's habit, and I feel like there needs to be a lot more blame 
put on the fighters and their bad habits. I feel that coaches in in the in the gyms need to teach these fighters or or um I mean again I'm just an armchair you know armchair quarterback whatever the MMA equivalent is to an armchair quarterback so fuck if I know but I do feel like coaches need to help their fighters develop good habits and part of that was, part of those good habits is keeping your hands closed in, in an MMA fight I watch I've seen Muay Thai fighters Muay Thai kickboxers um shadow box and when they shadow box and they throw elbows they like they do this right that they have their hands open and and it's just that's just how it is. Um, I've seen them when they're hitting the punching bag. They, they they hit the punching bag and the punching bag swings and they stick their hand out to like stop it and then and then continue with the combinations and then and they continue to do this. So it's like a reoccurring habit when you have you know regular boxing gloves on muay thai whatever you know the the, the whole glove or the whole hand is wrapped in the glove is enveloped in there so there's no problem. But in MMA that it is a problem and I feel like. A lot of blame needs to be put on the fighters for that shit. Um, I, I don't. I kind of feel like Daniel Cormier knew what he was doing with with sticking his, his arms out or sticking his fingers out. I feel like he's doing it in a way where it looks unintentional. And if he gets warned by it, at the very least, he you know like like let's say he accidentally pokes Stephen Mitch's uh, eye, which which did happen. And what what did the referee did you know give him a harsh warning, but Stipe is now hindered. His eye is fucked up now, and he just got away with it with a, with a strong with a strong warning, you know. I, I don't think that should be the case. If if it's something like using this third fight with Stipe and Cormier as an example, if we saw, which I'm sure you guys saw, that nasty the, the way that I poke looked at Stipe's finger was like knee deep, or I'm sorry, uh, knuckle deep into Daniel Cormier's eye. Like it was bad. It was really bad. And we saw Cormier's eye after the eye poke. I think there should have been a point deduction, maybe even two. Um, fuck the first warning. You know, it's not like, what, I give him a point deduction so quick, not even a warning? Like, no, fuck that. I gave you the warning already. You know you shouldn't be doing this. There should be no reason for a warning at this point. Boom, point deduction. Or boom, two point deduction. There has to be, if the coaches in the gyms aren't going to help their fighters develop good habits and keep their hands closed, then at the very least, the rules need to be much more harsh. For, for the fighter so they get it so they get the fucking clues it's not like I don't I don't want it to be like like in boxing and using this example Felix Trinidad Felix Trinidad was known for doing whatever the fuck he could to win a fight and if that meant low blows he would throw that fucking low blow he had one of the hardest left hooks like this guy committed to that left hook to death and when he landed those left hooks which he did on uh, guys like David um I think yeah David Reed um, who else? Fernando Vargas and even Yori Campas. Like he threw those left hooks to the fucking body, and some of them went low, like real low, and those are hard ass fucking like low blows. They were bad, and he, a few of these, a few of those, he got away with it because oh, you got to give him a warning first. Like he, we know he's he's known for that. There's no point of going into the into the warnings. Just it's the referee's discretion. They will take the discretion. They'll go ahead and take the point. So. I kind of feel like there needs to be much more harsh uh, discipline or much more harsh consequences for those eye pokes, especially when it looks as blatant as what Cormier does or um, even even John Jones, honestly. Um, but anyway, I just kind of wanted to get out, get that off my chest and talk about it real quick because I know a lot of the blame is being placed on the gloves. And I do agree to that some, to some extent. You know, there has to be a better design on the gloves, but also the coaches helping their fighters develop good habits and develop the habit of keeping the hand closed you know maybe have them wear mma gloves or specifically ufc gloves or whatever organization they're in so they can get used to having them on and, and you know sparring with them and you know getting the developing the good habit of keeping the hand closed and of course also uh, in the cage itself um i know this uh, this last third this third fight with steve bay and miacic that was kind of irrelevant that wasn't really a point because uh, Mark Goddard, the referee, ultimately missed the call. So it wasn't like he was able to discipline uh, Stipe for the eye poke because he missed the call entirely. You know, he didn't even see the eye poke. So, I mean, there's not as much he can do. But theoretically or hypothetically, if he was able to see it and he did see it, I feel that that bad of an eye poke should have caused some sort of, like, point deduction or something along those lines to to give. And, you know, to, to Stipe's credit, he didn't, he didn't poke... Um, 
Daniel Cormier's eye in the, the fourth or fifth round. So it wasn't like that was something that, you know, he um he kept doing and and he got away with it. That wasn't the case there. But um, I do think there needs to be some like harsh, harsh, more harsher, I guess, um, stern, more stern uh, consequences for eye pokes, even even without a warning, even without a fucking warning. Honestly, that's, that's how I feel it is. But anyway, um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I mean, I know there, there needs to be some advancements on the gloves, but, uh, you know, should, should it be blamed solely on the gloves? Should it be just the, um, you know, the fighter? You know, should it be the referee, you know, the point deduction or should nothing be done about it? I mean, this is a problem that, of course, that uh, isn't going to go away anytime soon. So I feel like it's something that we need to touch on. Um, so, you know, thank you guys for uh, for taking the time, as always, to uh, to check out my vid and listen to me ramble for a little bit. Oh, and before I forget, guys, uh, make sure to check out freshcleantees.com. Uh, if you happen to find anything that you like, make sure to use the code MIGS15 at checkout and get 15% off your total. Or feel free to check out blenders.com and make sure to use the code MIGS16 at checkout and uh, get yourself 16% off your total. All right. So that does it for me this week, guys. Um, as always, thanks for, uh, you know, checking out my video and feel free to let me know what you guys think. I always like hearing uh, your guys' opinions. Have yourselves a good night, good morning, good day, wherever the fuck you happen to be at. And I will see you guys next week. Peace.